So because it's a JU-88, it goes fast, which is good. I say fast, it goes 315. That seems pretty fast for a bomber. Did we just knock out that Firefly? Oh, can he bomb, can he bomb, can he bomb, can he bomb? Look at the amount of bombs coming out of this thing. There should be like 30 bombs, of which two are 500s and 28 are 50s. That's this cluster bomb in the road. Look at that, that's ridiculous. Oh, we killed a Firefly with that, that's awesome. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to more Steel Division 2. I'll be honest with you and say this wasn't on my list for things to do for today. If it wasn't for the fact that they just released a new Nemesis DLC. Nemesis DLC is something that has nothing real to do with the Eastern Front warfare, uh, but basically the community can vote on a nemesis division so you got one axis one allied division who are each other's nemesis basically sworn enemies and this time the new zealand won for the allies and the first falschmjager won for the axis so we have the first falschmjager here um, i have to say i'm the only one that is actually playing as the first falschmjager in the past i basically had four of the nemesis divisions fight four of the Nemesis Divisions, and I really thought that those were a little weird. Uh, they didn't really feel very, I guess, unique anymore then. You know, if you see like nine of the unique vehicle driving around. So this is pretty much a Western Front battle. I am, however, playing as the first Falschmjager, the new faction, and we also have one faction here playing as the new New Zealand unit, which also, by the way, has a mixed match of other things, including um, some, actually quite a few Greek units. Now, the main strength of the Falschmjager, what I've seen anyway, is good infantry and good tanks, though you get a very limited amount of them. You only get, I believe, six Tigers, while well, you can get up to 12 Tigers, technically speaking. Um, but they get these awesome NAS horns. And I got one of them in Phase A. You can only get one card, and at the very most, you can get two in Phase A at no veterancy. Or what I've done is to get one with one veterancy in phase A, but I'm going to back him up with a Tiger Leader. Now, when we get the points, I'm also going to get the Panzerspewagen, the captured vehicle, and that way we'll get a command tank or command vehicle on the field and hopefully be able to get our Nashorn up to a triple vet. The main reason for that, the Nashorn has a KWK-43, which is a Kampfwagen Kanone 43, which means that this is the same gun before people get triggered in the comments, it's basically the same gun as the gun on the Yak Panther, the gun on the King Tiger. So we have a, and a Pac-43, basically. It's the same gun. This is huge. Like, this is going to demolish stuff. Now, we it's very lightly armored, obviously. We have to try and keep this thing alive. Now, the allies that we're playing against do not have insane amounts of heavy tanks. But they do have a bunch of units that I would be annoyed with if they manage to uh, to run through my line. So that's why we're mostly going to be working with the Nashorn, hopefully, using it to you know take down any uh, enemy heavy tanks or enemy vehicles that we may or may not encounter. So I immediately realized that I really should have gotten a okay Panzerstruck team for here. Looks like we may be up against the second Indian head over here. So let's pop our tiger across the berm and push him over there. We got a bunch more reinforcements coming in. Uh, I guess we could deploy him more over here. And we should be in the regular time now. I uh, actually wanted to mention one thing. Um, some people in the comment section were saying, if you aren't capable of micromanaging all the things on the field, which hopefully no one takes me, uh, you know, takes me uh, for a bad player, although I'm definitely the best player. They said, why don't you just put it on fire at will, and that way you don't have to really worry about your artillery. So that's what I'm actually going to do. I only have uh, three Gebirg Howitzers and two of these Italian uh, Gebirgs Canona. I believe that's what the G-E-B-K stands for, Gebirgs Canona, which means Mountain Cannon and Mountain Howitzer. And the main purpose of this is just that I don't have to really micro uh, them a lot, and I can just have, you know the game figure out what to do with those guns and they'll start shooting and when they run out of ammo we'll figure it out so obviously the rangers over here not very happy that we just engaged them with not one but two 88 millimeter guns one of them obviously i think the tiger gun is a 36 wow it's almost like i knew <laughs> um so that should hurt them quite bad knocking out those ranger leaders 
We just got to uh, start spreading out our infantry on this side and the other side of the tree line while we also should get some Falshim here. Now, what I've done here, I guess we should go slow down again. I have gotten a kind of a mixed match of infantry, but I have heavily focused on phase B. I get 170 points where everyone else only gets 135. My idea is to focus B phase B, push hard, and then try to hold the line. And what we have for that is in phase B, we have 12 Falschim Jaeger on level one veterancy. In phase A, I have six Falschim Jaeger on level one veterancy. And in phase C, we have 18. Falschim Jaeger at level 1 veterancy, which is freaking awesome. We also get Pioneers and we get a Storstrup, which has, uh, as you can see, Italian guns, German guns, Molotov cocktails, which technically would be called Brandflasche, I believe, for the Germans, and a Brand gun. So, interesting stuff. Hopefully, we do see or uh, come across some of the new Allied Division, the new uh, New Zealand Division. It would be cool to see some of their stuff in action, but if we do not, um, obviously at some point in the very near future, we are uh, I'm going to play as them uh, in, a, in a video. I actually still need to do a bunch of stuff for other divisions, but we'll get around to that. Ooh, that Morse LRC did not like that. Uh, this is that weird little thing which has both a boys anti-tank rifle and a machine gun. It wouldn't be a thing I would want to take into battle. I'm surprised it's still alive. I'm assuming it's going to get destroyed any second now by the tiger, who I need to... Okay, we'll push this Nashorn up a little bit. Uh, Grenadier, we can push them up slightly. There's a lot of vehicles over here, so we kind of need to watch out here. As hopefully this tiger can deal with all the tanks that are driving down the road here. We'll get a, a regular tiger. We got the flag, but we can't really we can't really compete with all these vehicles over here. So let's call them back. Tiger should deal with this Stewart. I have in no world ever was that going to be a kill for them, which is good for us. Uh, we managed to get across the forest here, which will deploy some of our Falschim Jaeger, and we're also going to deploy this Gabix Kanona and set it to fire at will as well. I actually really like that idea of just having things uh, on fire at will, and then we'll figure it out. You know, whenever we have to deal with uh ooh, this is kind of a bad spot for this tiger to be in although he's a twin vet now because he's right next to a falschim jaeger figure from the third falschim jaeger but we're just gonna have to have him here maybe we'll even back him up just a little bit because they are currently just heavily spamming us down here range of marauders very interesting unit to fight they have willy pete and a bunch of thompsons and very good cqb weapons and we might not be oh wow they destroyed us actually there that's kind of annoying we need to uh, get our Panzer Schreck into this forest. Get some more Ost Legione, which are Legionnaire, sorry, sorry, which are. Uh, oh, don't lose this, please. Okay, that, don't please. Oh, I'm like crossing all the fingers right now. Oh, that was a little scary. The Ost Legionnaire are basically um, arm, uh, uh, Russian Liberation Army units which are Russians who definitely do not agree uh, with the communist rule of the Soviet Union and they wanted a, um, a, a, a they wanted a different a different thing for for the Soviet Union other than Stalinism and communism so a lot of people in the Soviet Union were definitely not a fan of communism so the second they uh, surrendered to the Germans they sign up for the Russian Liberation Army, which in Russian is called the ROA or Russia. I, I think I just read this up. I was gonna s seem really smart. Anyway, point is that's why that's what these guys are. They are armed with PPSHs and Mosins and the DP, uh, but they are definitely Russians or Soviets who are um, against communism or they just wanted to get away from the prison camps. That's one thing I guess that no one mentions. The prison camps that the Germans kept the Soviets in were generally so horrible, some Soviets sign up just to fight for the Germans so they wouldn't have to sit in the prison camp anymore, which is really horrible you think about. But now we're getting into some, some real politics. So I'm trying to really remember what that German what the Germans called the Russian Liberation Army. I swear it was the Sovietische Freiwilligen. No, well, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll probably never we'll probably never get there because I'm stupid, right? And I just forgot, even though I was going to flex my knowledge. But I forgot because I'm done. Oh, we got rid of all these guys. I really like the uh, 
like free artillery spam. That's honestly awesome. They are, you know, oh, they are caught out in the open by uh, Rangers with the LMGs, which this is a really good squad. They have two 30 cals and they're also veterancy, which gives them a lot of damage uh, potential. Now, I kind of wish that these Kanona were a little bit more focused on my side of things. We can probably make that happen. As our Falschermeger engaged with MG42s and a, a dump twin MG34. Okay, let's set them to fire at will again. Grenadilla. Alright, we got rid of those Rangers. We can push up a little bit. Get some recon in here. We're almost in phase B. Now this Tiger, the transmission's damaged. Wow, big surprise. The Tiger's transmission's down. Ha ha ha. But we have to figure... Ooh, okay. We also have this weird Italian little Breda here, which is an Italian truck, I think. Or a French or Italian truck with a Breda 13 or 20 millimeter gun on the back, which is basically an anti-aircraft gun, uh, which is manned here by a Fallschirmjäger. But we need to get some troops that we could maybe deploy them from here and then walk them across the river uh, just so we can get some eyes on there because we're a little bit a little annoyed with the situation here. And this LG Leichenschutz... 42 is under some heavy fire. I'm trying to figure out what's going on there. Well, we captured the right. The left is doing awesome. This is great. But we still, we're still we losing this middle point here. This middle point is where it's all going bad. So we need to figure out a way to uh, get around that somehow. Let's get some of these Italian RE 2005s, which are uh, our fighters. And I guess we're just going to have to hold the line here and just uh, maybe get this uh, command vehicle. Get another Grenadier with MG42. Does he actually have eyes on him? Oh, he has eyes on the bazooka. Ah, he doesn't have it anymore. I wonder if we could knock out a tank over here. Like one of the Shermans or something? That would be awesome. If we could knock out a Sherman. Oh, he's actually getting into range now. Hello. Balshimiga Panzerschreck. Rocket away, killed, and now we get the hell. This is like a hit and run attack. We shoot, we, oh no, the thing is they're so, they're such a tiny team, right? So they take so much damage instantly because they're just, you know, a two-man team. We could move this Leica shoots over here. And uh, maybe it might be time for this Panzerschreck. Can we get another one? If we get another one, we'll move this one across the road. Okay, that's good. We'll knock out these baz this bazooka team. That's going to be a free kill. There's no way that he gets... There's no way that they kill this entire nine-man squad. I mean, I know they're Russian Liberation Army, and they're disheartened, but they're not going to lose that fight. That's a lot of people coming in. Okay, they're just basics. I'm not to worry about those two guys too much. Okay, they're mortaring my artillery, so we'll move them a little bit, and then we'll tell them, maybe we'll move them back. Okay, we'll retreat these Italian plates. Let's get a little strafing run there, nothing big, nothing crazy. Our car arrived, and our grenadiers can just kind of set up over here. Our truck, oh, our tiger is in some, and is like just being shot at a lot, I'm going to have to follow him back. Uh, to here. I don't know if that's is like going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Reverse, reverse. Do not do anything other than reverse. Let's get it. Oh, no. They're actually already coming with an Opal Blitz, but it's just going to not allow me to repair stuff, probably. We got snipers engaging my... Okay, that's annoying. Let's get our rocket ME-109s. That's a very good target, honestly. Snipers it can be really brutal. Yeah, they just took out my Falschmega Panzer Strike. That really sucks. Because I only have one more of those. So we'll call them another one. And these uh, damn snipers. Get out of here, brother. Yep. 210 millimeter rockets will do that to some people. We can sneak up forward here. I want to capture this flag really bad. We could also get a, another feeder. Push him up to over here. I don't even know why these guys are on hold fire. They don't really have to be. Push them up to here. And our Tiger is going to get repaired here if we stop moving. Panzer Shrek. No! Okay, downside. Panzer Shrek. Again, it's a two-man team. This guy was just a one-man team. Or they were just a one-man team there. 
it doesn't really work very good for us. Now this could work in our favor if we send these fighters to hunt down these rangers and we send both of our squads on the rangers together with the two planes strafing it we should have a decent chance here in this 2v1 if we're counting the planes in as extras look at that perfect pulling it into our favor there a definitely a battle that i think we would lose if it wasn't for the planes coming in now, these Panzer Shreks need to get the hell over here ASAP. It would be nice if we could get this Fuder squad across the road, although this might be an issue here. Do we have any smokes on these guys? I don't think they do. And, oh, okay, never mind. They're shooting my Tiger Fuder instead of uh, the Panzer Shrek, which is good. That's very good, because I was really afraid of losing the Panzer Shrek, but instead, he's just going to get blown up. Perfect. There's a lot of stuff over here, so we got to figure out a way to deploy two more tigers, and maybe we can deploy a leader over here, and uh, with the leader and the three tiger or the three tigers over here, we can at least hopefully start knocking back in this middle area where there's just a lot of guys. We got some oplites, which I think is a reference to the hoplites from uh, you know the the Spartans and the Greek states. But they don't really like getting strafed by uh, multiple 20 millimeter cannons from the air. So that's good for us. We'll get some more anti-air. This time, I guess we'll get one of these 37 millimeter guns. We can set both of them back to fire at will. And we'll get an Opal Blitz support truck to give them some ammo. And I think we're doing pretty good. I honestly think we're doing pretty good. Uh, we haven't really had any horrible losses yet. We're actually making a good push in here. We got the Fuder back, which is good because these guys are disheartened. It's a little heart logo, which means they uh, take more suppression damage. There you go. They take more suppression damage. But with the Fuder here, and also they, I think they take more suppression faster. But with the Fuder here, they at least won't surrender if they are in trouble. And actually, what was that vehicle that just showed up? I didn't get really to see it, but... We'll uh, work that over in just a second. Uh, we'll get one of these Pupkins, which are awesome. And I guess we'll also get an anti-aircraft gun to cover this middle back left, because we don't really know what's coming over here. Uh, Gnade Deer Feeder, just stay with them. And, okay, left side, oh, we have these uh, Gabiegs Kanonen, uh, which are still doing their job. And now we're in this phase where we just could get a lot of pushing power, which it looks like the right city here could really use some support so we're going to just pump in a bunch of Fallschirmjäger and infantry and we'll even back them up with a Pipkin. And the Pipkin is awesome, it's basically a Panzer Shrek, but where the Panzer Shrek only has a 250 meter range, the Pipkin has a 500 meter range. So you can really mess up people's days a lot better with that uh, than you can with a Panzer Shrek, just you have better range and stuff like that. I wonder if I can put my NAS one over here. Oh, hello, M16 GMC. And goodbye, M16 GMC. Perfect. That's a good anti-aircraft gun. It's probably very expensive for them. Knocked out, so it cannot harass our planes. And uh, that way, we don't have to worry um, about it destroying our infantry, because it definitely would, considering it's, you know, a quad, a quad 50 cal machine gun vehicle. Okay, this might be bad. I hope our grenadiers can reach the city, at least. We might have to get ourselves a Yak Panzer IV into city to defeat all these Shermans coming in. I didn't think this would be a horrible thing. Uh, support will get some of these Russian machine guns, which I think they're just Maxim machine guns. Yeah, that we have. Pupkin. Move them over for now. Okay, I'm trying to get guys into this city here. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of people coming in over here now. Including some stormtroopers back there. Okay. Fallschirmjäger. Okay, get out. And the stormtroopers are scary because they have TNT. So we got to knock those guys out quick. Oh, uh, don't let them throw a grenade or anything. Okay, we're going to... They're just out of range of our of throwing grenades. They're down and done for. We've captured the right flank. We're getting some... We have a panther here being pushed back hard by some uh, enemy units. We have our Yak Panzer IV, which is rolling up onto the area here, but it's going to take a while to get there. Our Fallschirmjäger can push up to the next village, 
or the next buildings. We'll move these grenadiers up a little bit. They're not really useful in here right now. Actually, these grenadiers can probably stay over here to cover the flank. Machine gun goes in there. Uh, we'll send another one to the flank over here. Okay, our Yak Panzer 4 is all the way back here. Okay, that's not really great, but whatever. Uh, back here, we have all the howitzers, which we have, again, spread out just really stupidly. But the stupid, the thing is, if they're stupid, and I'm hoping that this way they won't all get hit by the same, uh, they won't all get hit by the same thing, like, right? Because if they're all set up like that, then they can't all get hit by one artillery hit. Okay, we've killed a commander somehow. That's very good. This is actually not bad. We need to maybe retreat this machine gun unit. We'll rocket the Vickers HMG. Our Yak Panzer IV can now roll into the city. Pipkin, roll up. Falschenjäger, you can get. Oh, there's also pioneers! Oh god, they're flamethrower units! Okay, get back in the house, I guess. It's the only thing we can do. Get back in the house. CQB, CQB. They, they should not be able to use their flamethrower in the house with us, right? And they didn't. I don't think. They can't. We knocked out their kangaroo. Our Pupkin is, Pupkin is moving up. Just not sure to pronounce that, but, you know. Okay, we could do a crazy push on the right side here. We get two Oslegionaires. We get a machine gun uh, here. And then we'll get two. We'll get two pioneer, backed up by a Falschmager leader. Then over here, our tigers have done a great job at supporting the push. Uh, we've got this forest locked down. Our Nashorn has eyes down this road. We could push him up a little bit more. Uh, Rhino. Okay, this is actually going pretty damn well. I gotta say, we lost those Falschmager. That was kind of to be expected, mainly because there's just so much stuff down here. Our howitzers are all engaging stuff, which is perfect. I hope that they're engaging stuff that's useful for me, but at least they're firing. That's the main thing. If you buy artillery and you don't use it... Wait, how the hell is this being pushed so bad? Okay, let's send a... Uh, what can we get? Send anything? Oh, I have a bunch of infantry. I didn't even realize how much infantry I have. Let's send some Scharfschütze, which are snipers, which literally means sharpshooters, I guess. Scharfschütze. Scharf means sharp, and Schütze means, sh well, shooter. So there's that. We'll put this uh, Pupkin in an ambush position. Now, if they do come down the road at this thing, 500 meters is going to be right there. So if they come on this intersection, this Pupkin is ready to just obliterate anything that shows up right in front of our Nasworn is under attack. Let's pull it back. We don't want to... Oh, never mind. And, uh, this is more of an ambush vehicle. We can't really, like, have it sit on a, on a corner and hope that it does its job, I suppose. So we might have to cover that a little better. Uh, Ammo-wise, we're good, we're good. These things are just constantly harassing stuff, which is perfect. I mean, they'll just shoot at anything, I guess, that pops up. Rhino, bounce, but does the Nashorn misses. Oh, Nashorn. Oh, they finally got it. Okay, it happens. Can't really do much about that. Oh, Panzer Strike, run, run, run. It's an assault group. Run. They have, like, eight, eight submachine guns. Holy crap. Okay, if the assault group shows up, we'll strafe it. Run, Panzer Shrek, run! We'll strafe it with our planes. We can get these eighty Ju 88s, which carry two 500s and 2850s. Between that and the strafing run, they're all knocked out. That's perfect. Now we have a lot of stuff here on the right, and the idea might not have been clear, but the idea is going to be pretty awesome. That is, if it works. The idea will be to cross the river here using the Yak Panzer IV as a fire support vehicle. And we'll use the machine gun here as a supporting weapon. Os Legionnaire, you guys have been promoted to being, um, well, sort of the, uh, you know, the first guys across. And hopefully you don't get shot too much. And then between, we have the Falschmeger Theater and the Pioneers here. We're going to cross as the actual crossing unit if the, uh, I need to get ammo for this guy. Oh, never mind. You can still knock them out anyway. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. We need to get this Yak Panzer IV over here, ASAP. Okay, heavy bomber. What do we want a heavy bomb? There's got to be some stuff around here that looks like a nice target. Firefly sounds pretty good. Okay, let's push down here. So because it's a Ju-88, it goes fast, which is good. 
I say fast. It goes 315. That seems pretty fast for a bomber. Did we just knock out that firefly? Oh, can he bomb? Can he bomb? Can he bomb? Can he bomb? Look at the amount of bombs coming out of this thing. There should be like 30 bombs, of which two are 500s and 28 are 50s. It's this cluster bomb in the road. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Oh, crap. We killed a firefly with that. That's awesome. Oh, they got knocked out by a bunch of rangers in there. Bastards. Okay. We got to get ourselves some more infantry. Maybe some Stostrup because they'll deal with their... Uh, they'll deal with their infantry in these forests a lot easier. Although our rockets might deal with them too. Oh, not, not if they just don't dive at all for it. So our Jagdpanzer IV on the right side is in position. I don't know where this Os Legionnaire went. Did I hand? Uh, going to deer, push up to the corner. Okay. Oh, we'll go Nat Church instead. Okay, Legionnaire. Go. Go. This is just some uh, basic units that are going to cross first. And if this works, we'll cross. Can this machine gun cross? No, it can't. I kind of figured it couldn't, but it's something. Our planes are going to retreat. They did their job. And artillery is just, uh, doesn't care. And I love that. It's just, I don't know if they're doing anything. And I guess we'll find out at the end of the game. We have to look for our artillery. We'll find out they did anything. But it's really cool to see that they are at least, you know, shooting and trying to hit stuff. Even though I'm not giving them any orders. Which is the whole point of that thing. Where you just hope that, you know, the AI gives them good enough orders. So it looks like we might be all right. We'll run two of the Stostrup, which again have the uh, Italian SMGs. They have FG-42s, I believe. Yeah, and a Brennan Brandflasche, which is awesome. Oh, they found some infantry, some scouts pee it. That won't really matter, but we can do just, you know, fire superiority. That's a nice target for a huge amount of bombs. So we'll send him over there. And then I guess we can target that WC-52. That's just an armored... Hmm. Not sure if that's what we, we want to target. We can target the Rhino with it, I suppose. Oh, the Polson's a good target, actually, because there's a lot of infantry over here. Okay. That's the AA. Oh, it just got destroyed. Uh, maybe we'll call him back. J-88. Oh, they're also clustered up. And there comes the bombs. Oh, there's a lot of anti-aircraft guns, but that's fine. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Come on, any second, there we go. Wow, I don't know if it did anything. We legit don't know, but that was awesome. It's pretty much what I wanted. Okay, we've crossed a road, or river. Are we gonna get some grenadiers across? We'll t engage the infantry in this house. That should get rid of them. Or maybe the house, and okay, there we go, perfect. That's awesome. And we still have one plane left. We still can call on a bunch more planes if we wanted to. We are kind of low now. We're at the point in the battle where we are low on our income because I got the income in phase B, right? And not in phase C. But we did do a push. I, for the first, oh, there's a hole of people here. But for the first time in a long time, I really feel like I actually made, uh, like, I followed up on my thing where I said I was going to push and I did. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see if we can maybe on this. And help out our boyos. Oh, there's a lot of people pushing over here. Uh, let's pull these back. Let's pull these back. Let's get our Storstrupen in here. And let's get some more pioneers. Okay. Oh, here comes our JU-88. Dropping all the bombs on the enemy tanks. And then we'll clear this up. Oh, ho, ho. I think we just eliminated them there. We'll uh, push one Oslegionaire in to get eyes on. Oh, I lost that leader. Oh, well, can't have it all here. Fit this M20 and the vehicles or the infantry that's pinned over here. On the right, we're doing good. Uh, we got all of our infantry across. We can now push in our Grenadier. And when they're good, we'll push in our Pioneer. They get you out. They, they took out the basics. I think we took out that M20. We knocked out the vehicles that were over here. So that's perfect for us. And we just secured an area. And now we can... Oh, that M20 is not going to feel so good. It's not going to feel so good. There's like three tigers. Look at it. 
Hey, nice one. Okay, ammo wise, you guys need some? Let's hold fire at will for right now. Oh, that might be just a stop button. Right, let's give you some ammo. These guys have been firing basically non stop, which is just awesome to see, to be honest. We'll get them backed up by a feeder. And then. What's happening over here? Okay, not a lot. Nothing super crazy. I do like how he got just into this area here by just pushing across the river, which is really, really cool. And now we can use our other vehicles, which, not really, to be fair, they're not really useful anymore now, but. Um, Okay, let's bomb that instead. This, like, convoy that's coming in. A bunch of kangaroos carrying infantry and stuff. Let's go! Bombs away! Lining up for the shot. Taking a little bit of flak. Bombs out. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is just, like, carpet bombing. Holy crap, that's all gonna be gone. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, he kind of on their shot. I should have shot earlier or, or hit it earlier, but it's really whatever. Pushing up hard over here. Now, if we could roll our Yak Panzer down the street, that would be perfect. I don't know if we can survive, uh, you know, pushing around that corner over there, but if he does, that would be perfect. Okay, we lost some Ostlegionier in the middle. That's probably flamethrowers, yep. Let's push up to the corner. There's a lot of things down here. Are you kidding? Are you kidding at this? There's like nine Sherman 3s. But it's okay. We can get four Tigers now. And now we have the high ground, boys. We just knocked out two of them there, I think. Infantry is pushing up on us. That's fine. They're not going to feel so good here in a second. Uh, we can push back in here. Our Tigers, they really need to be careful. So we can't really do too too much crazy here. Oh, there's an assault group. That just got wrecked. God damn it. Okay, there's a Panther backing us up. M20 is dead. Tigers are just like lobbing shells onto the flank over here. We hit that M20 uh, on the right side. What's happening over there? Our Pioneer maybe need to reverse out of that situation. Our Yak Panzer 4 is going to roll down the street and just start obliterating anything, which is the whole point of us getting there, hopefully. Uh, machine guns, let's get you across. Other machine guns get you across. Then over here, all the Tigers are coming in. We need to get used on an ammo truck down here. Okay, uh, ammo truck, you're out of ammo, that's understandable. Um, let's stop you from firing, let's have you fire at will. Have you fire at will, let's go. Tiger is engaging. These three tigers, they just mopped up this entire area in the middle. Look at this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine, ten wrecks, ten, eleven, there's more than eleven wrecks right now of enemy equipment that was here that's just freaking gone. Our Tigers need to retreat. I don't want to push them too hard. Not at all. Now these Tigers can roll down this part and then we are in, uh, in a really good position. Here comes our J88 though, by the way, which I know we can roll around this corner here. And oh, it's going to take some heavy flak. We can't do that actually. Can't, damn it. All right. Get out of there. Hopefully you don't get shot down. I would hate to lose a 140 point plane like that. Two crocodiles though. That's good. Yak Panzer 4. Push around. Our pioneers have retreated to this position. That's understandable. Where did my 109 go? I mean, I don't know if this is going to kill a crocodile, but I'd hope it does something. Hmm. Not exactly what we needed there. Maybe we'll bomb that and just say goodbye to whatever is there. And they're just locking the center down with the amount of armor that we have. We have seven tigers, of which two or three are like higher vet. Oh, loader knocked out. I don't know why you guys are angled like that. 
Push up. Let's go. Why are we being lame? Also, where's the JU-88? It's going to bomb the road here. Although, you might have to get out of there ASAP. It'd be nice. Oh, we won. What? I didn't even pay attention to that. Wow. We just destroyed them. Let's take a look. We got, wow, we had 3,500 kills and only 400 losses. Uh, let's take a look and see if we can see any of our artillery. So this guy got a single Marauder that might have actually been me targeting them. We'll look at all the other stuff in just a second. Then did we have any other artillery getting anything? This guy got a mortar and a truck. That's actually really good. We got scouts and the field engineers. And we got, uh, okay, that was it. So that was, mm, for the amount of artillery, the amount of firing, I guess I didn't get any kills, but they might have suppressed people. But then let's take a look. On Nashorn, it didn't really do much. I was being a little too careful with it. And then I should have, I think what you need to do with that is use it, like, pop around the corner, shoot, and then pull it back. Unlike a tiger or a panther or an IS or a rhino, you can't really have it sit there and get it, have, like, take shots because it doesn't have the armor one hit and it's dead the tiger feeder who lived till the end did a bunch of work and then these tigers on the ridge did an insane amount of work this oz legionnaire did a good amount of work too and gotta say L the like shoots did a buttload of work even got a sniper a staghound a bazooka a steward these false Jaegers here got a, a, a rhino the gmc this is the guys who were further up they even got a commander which is just insane the Panzer Shrek were doing okay. They got two of them there. Uh, the G6 got the important stuff like the snipers and the uh, the Vickers. These Italian planes were swooping down, were killing important people for me. Um, Firefly, okay, that was just spamming heavy bombs. Three tanks there. Uh, the Tiger here knocking out a bunch of Shermans. That must have been near the end. That was a very successful game, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to be playing as the New Zealanders in the very near future. But for now, let's see you guys in the next one. Cheers.